Hi everybody, this is Rolanda Sumner and I am the Veteran Retention Consultant for Alaska. And today we're gonna to talk on Veteran Retention Minute, we're gonna talk about the last step of really getting your veteran engaged and become loyal to you and the team, okay? You, you want to start placing your direct report in areas of growth. So understand areas of growth does not necessarily mean promotion. Areas of growth just generally means that you're gonna place them in a position where they grow as leaders, managers, and future people with authority. They're gonna grow as professionals and they get to have their name out there. They're gonna participate in a committee. They might participate in a project they might do something extra for the organization that helps them flex their leadership muscle because you don't have to be in a management position position to flex your to build that leadership muscle. That's going to help them develop professionally and personally. And it's going to help the organization. There's always a project, there's always something going on that your organization is gonna need volunteers for, okay? When you have that discussion with your direct report, you learned some things about them. You learned about their family, you learned about what matters most to them, you learned about what, time of, what type of constraints and, and challenges they may be going through. So this part, might be is going to should be easy for you actually because you've already started to have those conversations and you didn't have one conversation you had several conversations by this time when you start finding different opportunities for them to participate you will know what type of challenges they're having regardless if they said my challenge is and what type of weaknesses they're having and what opportunities you can involve them in that that will help strengthen them in those areas Okay, so don't fear that you're like, oh, I don't know if this is a good thing for them. Of course it is, and you've already done the work, you've already done the footwork to learn more about them and to see what areas they need more support in and what areas they need to grow in. This will help solidify your personal brand as a leader because your leadership will see that you can strategically plan forward for your, your direct reports. That you are able to see into the future, you're able to forecast what they need and how it's gonna help the organization and your direct report and the team. This is important. It's gonna start planting those seeds in your leadership's mind that you are capable of more leadership. Okay, so start finding opportunities for your direct report to grow. Is there a committee? Is there a project? What is going on in the organization? Even if it's something small like filling the coffee things in the morning because you know they're, they're gonna be the first one here. What can they do to help out the organization? Even if it's on a minuscule scale. Now when you go to them, that's something that is teeny tiny, reiterate to them how that impacts the organization and the team. Be genuine. The last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna reward them when they do something good, when they meet a, a, a milestone. Find out what is most important to them, then get with your direct supervisor to see if you guys can make it happen, and reward them. It could be leaving early, leaving a couple of hours early paid on the company. You know, the, like, look, we're gonna still pay you, but go ahead and leave an hour early today. Find some way to reward them for hitting their milestones. This keeps them engaged, it keeps them motivated, and it develops loyalty.